All right, Coach Hyde, you want to talk about a barn burner and one that takes years off your life. Talk to me about what that game kind of accompanies with the feelings inside of you right now. I mean, it's up and down, you know, emotional. You know, we uh, were able to get that first run on the board. Um, you know, you'd like to start it off with more, but, um, you know, we knew it was going to be a tight game. Uh, obviously, we, you know, we lost the lead, and then we were able to come back there at the end. Um, just real proud of the boys, you know, fighting through a complete game. When you took Jack out, and you put in your uh, Anthony Treveri. There's a little bit of a, a miles per hour difference there. Correct. Was that the idea behind it? Is it kind of throw their, their balance off a little bit? Yeah, you know, we'd never seen Hamilton before. Uh, we actually didn't really watch them too much up here at the tournament. Uh, we don't do a lot of scouting of teams. We just go out and play whoever's, you know, on the other side of the field. Yep. Um, so we didn't know what to really expect. Uh, Jack's definitely a fastball thrower. Um, he did well. Uh, they you know, started with bat on the ball, and we were coming through their, their lineup again. Um, Jack was getting a little higher in the pitch count as well, so we went and made the change, went to a completely different style of pitcher. Uh, Anthony, you know, his fastball's not as fast, obviously, um, but he's got a, a dirty uh, breaking ball, and he was able to you know, use those to his advantage and you know, to strikeouts and ground outs. It worked well. What is the difference between this team and other teams maybe that, that you've coached before or that you've seen play at the Little League level? Uh, you know, I mean, this seems tight. I mean, they really are. They play well together. Um, nobody gets on anybody when, you know, something goes the wrong way. Uh, they really pump each other up. So, I mean, you know, they have a lot of camaraderie, you know, with each other, which is great. Um, you know, they've been through a lot. I mean, we, the, the bulk of the boys have been playing together for about five years. Uh, you know, a major core of them. And so, you know, they know how each other to react. They're unselfish. They're ready, you know, if one of them gets pulled for someone else to go in, um, you know, there's never any issues with that, so. A 10-year-old goes in with the bases loaded, a situation where for most of us, we need another pair of pants. Yeah. Uh, and he steps up and comes through with a big hit. Talk to me about what went through your mind in that, that moment, the, the decision, and yeah. then the outcome. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we brought him on the team this year, you know, as a hitter. Um, you know, we give every, every player opportunity to be one of our starting nine on the field. Um, and that was told to him, you know, when we selected him for the team. Uh, but his key role was to be a hitter. You know, with the, with the rules of Little League, with 13 players on the roster, uh, you know, you bring players off the bench to hit in certain situations. And the kid's a pure hitter. Um, he's calm, he's cool, and he just loves hitting the ball. Um, so I felt real confident putting him in there. I knew he was going to do it for us. He's done it a couple other times uh, throughout the, the various tournaments, and um, it was a perfect spot for him. You know, glad to see him do it. Coach, congratulations. Thank you.